Today we're in Montenegro. Montenegro is next to Serbia, Croatia and Albania and I'm very happy to be here today because this is the day we drive for the very first time the new Jaguar F-Pace. Right from the first glance the F-Pace tells us that this is a Jaguar. The side view spans from an especially long bonnet back to the far-placed quarter-like windows. The lines of the F-Pace are clearly reminiscent of the F-Type, although the vehicle concepts themselves could not be more different. Jaguar calls the F-Pace the practical one out of their fleet. And to be honest, regarding to the space at the interior of the car really is, I'm nearly two meters tall and I sit perfectly in the car. I like this, that's a bit tight here, that's typical Jaguar and to be honest I can take the stereo where I wanted it so quite near to myself and that's the base for sporty driving for me. The only thing I do not like so much is the hat space but this is the sunroof, if it's not there it's another three four centimeters and that will be perfect for me as well. But let's see how about the rear seats. Sitting here at the rear seats, you can see I fit in and even my knees, there's enough space. It's still comfortable. But the only thing here again is hat space. But that's the sunroof to be honest. The rest is very comfortable. But we talked about practicability. So let's have a look at the boot. This I call a full-size boot. The capacity with the seats up is 650 liters. If you fold the seats down, it increases up to 1,740 liters. That's more than enough for every situation. The interior styling of the F-Pace shows a successful combination of premium materials, good workmanship and modern technology. The up to 10.2 inch screen of the new infotainment unit and the completely configurable 12.3 inch instrument display are just two examples of the consistently very attractive and user friendly interior. Jaguar offers two different diesel engines for the F Pace. The small one is a 2 liter four cylinder engine that delivers 180 brake horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. The fuel consumption should only be 4.9 liters. The bigger one is a 3 liter six cylinder engine that delivers 300 brake horsepower and massively 700 newton meters of torque. The fuel consumption here should only be 6 liters. The petrol engine of the F-Pace is a 3-litre V6 that delivers either 340 or 380 brake horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. The fuel consumption should only be 8.9 litres per 100 kilometer driven. For the 2-litre diesel, Jaguar offers front and all-wheel drive and either a 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic gearbox. All other engines of the F-Pace will be delivered with an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. Our test car features the big diesel engine and you can really feel this 300 brake horsepower and massive 700 newton meters of torque every second you drive the car. Combined with this automatic gearbox, it's a pure pleasure to drive, real fun. And also the suspension, they really made a good job. It's perfect for a Jaguar. The only thing where I will complain a little bit is I think the steering could be a very little bit more direct or let's say precise, but this is really complaining on very, very high levels. The F-Pace S with its 380 brake horsepower petrol engine is a completely different car than the diesel version, but it's not only the engine, it's the whole car, it's stiffer, it's more direct, and even the steering, I think it's better. It's a lot more the Jaguar, the sports car I expected, but to be honest, the one with the diesel engine is more comfortable. Of course, the F-Pace also offers a full range of modern driver assistance and safety systems such as torque vectoring control, hill start assist, an emergency brake assist and many more. With the F-Pace, Jaguar brought a real competitor for cars like the Porsche Macan and Audi Q5 to the market. I think it's a very good mixture out of sportiness and practicability. My favorite, of course, is the S with 380 brake horsepower, but if they would have asked me, I would love to see 500 brake horsepower as well. What is clear is that personal taste will play a big role in deciding which engine F-Pace owners will select. The two we tried are both powerful and smooth six-cylinder engines, but for the more frugal driver, there's also the smaller diesel version.